Welcome to our zeroth video in our data structures and algorithms series, if you will. And this is going to be an overview of really what we're going to talk about uh, during the semester. So uh, what is an algorithm? Well, an algorithm is a well-defined, step-by-step, computational procedure for solving some sort of a problem. What does this mean? Well, this means that we have a set of steps, right, step-by-step, -step, um, a set of steps to, to solve this thing. So we, we're deterministic. Our algorithms are deterministic. There's a goal involved. Inherently, they terminate because they have to reach their goal, so they have to stop. Um, they also take some sort of an input, and they also produce an output. Let's take a look at an example of this. Uh, sorting algorithm, or a sorting algorithm here of, of a collection of items. So this is deterministic. Sorting a collection of items uh, has a, the goal of putting these items in a desired order. And we can obviously stop sorting when we're done sorting those items. So, so there's an actual, we can actually reach this goal. And we also have uh, an input which is a collection of items, sorted or unsorted. If they're already sorted, then we're done. And the output is obviously the sorted collection of items. So what about a data structure? A data structure is a way to store, organize, and manipulate data within a computer in an efficient manner. This is important. Uh, there's no point to us uh, creating data structures or even studying them if we don't care about efficiency. Also, we, we need to manipulate, we need to be able to interact with the data within those data structures. We're also going to do a little bit of design and analysis. Uh, we're going to be looking for correctness of algorithms. Are they producing the correct output? We're also going to look at efficiency. We're going to look at time complexities and space complexities.